Hey guys, on today's tutorial, we're going to be updating your Mac to the newest Mac OS. So before you guys do anything, make sure to back up your Mac. And backing it up means going to System Preferences and use Time Machine. All right, so Time Machine is something that's loaded up in your Mac already. So you guys should set it up on an external hard drive. I do have a separate video, you guys, showing you how to set up Time Machine. Time Machine backs up your entire Mac, including your apps and your Mac OS. So just in case you guys want to go back into High Sierra or Sierra if you're in there right now, then you guys can do it. And it's going to be really easy using Time Machine, which I have a video showing you guys how to do that. So for sure, use Time Machine and look up in my channel if you guys want to know more about Time Machine. Anyways, once you guys have done that backup, make sure you have at least 12 gigs. That's what Apple says. But what you guys actually do need is 100 gigs. 100 gigs is a requirement for your Mac to run smoothly. Right now, if you guys have less than that, you guys will see that it's laggy. It's not because it's old, it's because you have it too full of storage. All right, so make sure to have at least 100 gigs. That's my recommendation in order for your Mac to run smoothly, to do the update and everything to go okay. So let's just get right down to it. Let's go into your App Store, All right? Your App Store is down here, maybe not. So just go into your Apple logo, top left hand corner, you guys will choose the third option. So that's your app store. Let's just click on it. If you guys don't see this, don't worry. I already had it open. That's why. But if you go into featured, you guys should see it up here. It's the main thing. If you guys don't see it up there. No worries. Go into your search and then just type in the new Mac OS. You guys should see it pop up here. All right. So let's just click on it. Instead of open, you guys will see download. And um, I already pre-downloaded this. It only took me five minutes to download. For most of you, it's gonna take maximum 15 minutes. I can see for some people with extremely slow internet taking up to 30 minutes, but nothing more than that, just because the, you're just downloading the installation tool, basically. You're not downloading the whole OS. That's gonna be our next steps. So let's just click on open. And we're gonna see this. To, to set up the installation of Mac OS, just click continue. So we're gonna do that. Up next, you are going to see an agreement that we just have to click agree, obviously. So that should be popping up. So there we go. So of course, you guys will read all this, right? And then hit agree. Agree again. And here we go. So here's my HD. Make sure this is this is it. OK, just click on install. Add helper. And there we go. OK, so right now, is actually the long process that will take to install this new Mac OS. All right, from here, we're gonna see that the whole installation process will be around 50 minutes. You guys might take a little bit longer, a little bit less, but these are the screens that you guys will see, a black screen, the Apple logo. Then it's gonna ask you for your Apple ID, you set that up, you can choose keychain or not to use keychain. You can choose from light or the dark theme. All right, guys, so that's it for this installation. As you guys could see, it took us just a little bit under an hour, about 15 minutes to install and everything. And that's about it. So you guys will see this window pop up once you're done. And I suggest going through it, see what's new, see what you guys can do. Um, it's just good to take that tour around and see what's the difference. As you guys saw, I chose the dark theme and that's, that's what I like just because it's easier on my eyes. And I always just make my blinds a little bit darker. So it's a little bit dark in my room. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments or have problems with all these apps that might be missing, such as these guys right here for my Adobe, um, you guys can just ask me away. But most of them, you guys will, well, not will have to, but might have to just put them back here. Um, there might be some apps that are not working like I mentioned, but that's how it is with any update Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions comments, you can write them down here in the comments area Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you